Hola chicos, how are you guys? I am back and in this video I am going to show you guys how I make my shrimp broil. So let me start off with the ingredients. It's obviously shrimp, potatoes, a whole bunch of chopped garlic, limes, um, and your sausage of your choice. Excuse my ugly lemons guys. Um, this are just the last ones that I had. We're going to need a box of butter and brown sugar, some mini corns that's the ones that i buy in a package and then we're gonna need some cajun some paprika cayenne pepper lemon pepper and old bay seasoning so now in a bowl i'm gonna go ahead and put in our ingredients i'm gonna start off with the old bay and i believe i added two teaspoons of no not teaspoons tablespoons of this and it's okay if it extra falls i kind of did that like on purpose you know so I got that in there and then I went with our Cajun and with this I also filled it up I think one and a half times but I ended up adding more after so it all just depends on how spicy I would say you want it. And then paprika on this I just sprinkled it honestly because it's also just depending on how spicy you want it i didn't want it super spicy because my kids were going to eat out of there and cayenne pepper on this one i think i only added like half of a tablespoon if i was even able to get it out <laughs> i don't even remember now lastly is the lemon pepper and on this one i also just let it fall out as i filled it I believe I did it one tablespoon but honestly all these ingredients it all just depends on what flavors you want more of and all that good stuff you know once all that's in there I just go ahead and mix it all in together and that creates our seasoning okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up my sausages really quickly because I didn't do it before I started recording I don't know why again but I also just cut them in small pieces. Again, you can cut them at whatever size you want. All right, so now that we got all of our ingredients ready, I'm going to go ahead and put in our four bars of butter into our pan and just let them melt. Let them melt. Let them melt. I don't know why I did that. And on the separate pan, I just went ahead and put my potatoes. That way they can cook separately while I'm doing this. Now that our butter is all melted, I put in our chopped garlic and just went ahead and moved those around in there. So I finally was able to get my husband to help me record, guys. But once we saw our butter all nice and melted, our garlic looking clear, I went ahead and mixed in our seasonings to that. So now that our ingredients have mixed in there nicely, I'm going to go ahead and add in some brown sugar. I believe I added one tablespoon and a half, but I do recommend to add another tablespoon completely because after after result, I saw that it was sticking, but it wasn't as thick as how it was the last time that I made it. It's because it's barely the second time that I make this recipe so i saw that last time i made it the very first time the sauce was thicker than this time so i do recommend you add a little bit more brown sugar than i did and just keep mixing guys mix 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 and here comes the part where we start to add in our shrimp guys ¿Quién dijo que no? Everybody that eats shrimp broil knows que no se les quita. No porque toda la gente lo haga, tienes que hacerlo no, así. No, porque es el chiste, tienes que chuparlo luego sacárselo. No, si es afuera. ¿Qué? Okay. Yes, believe it. He literally wanted me to take off the tail. I'm like, that's the point of this dish, boy. So then now I'm just moving in our shrimp slowly. That way we can start cooking. And once you start to see it turn pink, that means it's getting cooked, so that's a good sign. So now that my shrimp are all pink, I'm going to go ahead and add in my sausage and also my elotes. 
and just go ahead and let that boil in there for a while as well with my shrimp. So yeah guys, now what I'm doing is just rotating everything around that way I can have my corn get in the juice as well and it can make it be so nice and juicy. It was really good. But like I said, what I do recommend you guys do is just add more brown sugar to it. That way the sauce can be a little thicker. Um, that's what I wish I could I would have done. Um, but it was still really good. It still stuck to the shrimp and everything really nicely. But I just kind of wanted it a little thicker. It just depends on you guys. Now that we have that, I went ahead and added our potatoes. And like I said, since we baked our, well, since we boiled our potatoes in another pot, they're already ready. I just want to also get it mixed in there with the juice. If you guys have a bigger pot, then that's way better. <laughs> so this is my plate. And now, guys, um, I went ahead and served myself some with the juice as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial on this meal. And if you guys do try it, please comment down below. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!